<clears throat> hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're enjoying the rest of your Saturday afternoon. So yeah, today it's been a while since I made the last um poem video that I made. So this would be, and I quote, number 220. So yeah, the last one I did was 219, so now we're on 220. And for today on two, yeah, for today on two twenty, um, yeah, I wrote a new poem this afternoon. After yeah, I wrote a new poem, and this one is about what happens when people that we have that we have never liked, or should I say, hate, love testing us, especially when it comes to waters being tested that relate to us. How many time? How many of you heard the words in that quote go by like this? How many of you heard the words of testing the waters? When you hear those words, it makes you think of people that you hate so much that you can't stand them when they try to test you, especially testing you to the end. And I've seen that, I'm not gonna lie, I've seen that mess happen so many times that you can't stand individuals who love testing you as ever. Especially when it comes to them just looking for a way to get under your skin or even try to test you from where you're standing or sitting. This poem really came into my head as I was wondering what to write for my next one. And when I heard the words testing the waters, that's when the poem came about. So I was able to write down what I could put in this poem as I put down the title of the name of the poem. Yeah. So right now, I'm going to read this poem to you guys and... Let's be honest, I'm not going to lie. I just want your answer before I read this poem. Here's a question for you all. How many of you have been tested by those that you have never liked and have hated and know how to test you when it comes to the waters being tested as ever? How many times have you been tested by people that know how to test your waters as ever? That's what I'm trying to say. When it comes to testing the waters, you try very hard not to let them get under your skin. They know how to rub you the wrong way. Even get under your skin, as I can tell. So get ready as I read, read you this poem, and I'm hoping you enjoyed this coming from me. So here we go. Sorry, just making sure I got where I want to place it. So yeah, here we go, my friends. <clears throat> Sorry, just clearing my throat. The name of the poem is called "Testing the Waters" by Denzel Claus. Just to let you know, I may record a video on F. I may record a video and put it on. Well, yeah, it's it's kind of on FB. So if you ever run into it, you can watch it or watch what's being happening here right now. So yeah, where was I? Oh yes, testing the waters by Denzel Claus. We find ourselves. Te Sorry, hold on. <clears throat> testing the waters by Denzel Claus. We find ourselves tested by the people we hate because they want to be entertained by a dividing gate. The odds are always in favor of what comes for us. Even as we try to be on high alert, condescending people love rubbing us the wrong way. They love it as if this was their new holiday, a holiday where you make fellows feel like they will never find hope. Remember the days of being sent against a wall? That memory would try to exist with you taking the fall. Whenever a storm starts to rise where the water stands, the high alert comes with a tide ready to devour the peaceful land. There, and I quote, there is a reason we must never quit. I see a valley where liberation is waiting by the shore. We can reach this moment that we always adore. Never having to deal with individuals who test us to the end. Our wounds will heal, even mend. Society try to break us by testing our waters but we did not give up. We fought until the tide had fallen. We felt the relaxed, cool air breeze while liberating together. Our greatest goal was to unite and stay strong. 
I wasn't proving those who tested the waters wrong. <clears throat> Never let anyone test you, especially where the water lies. And I'm going to show you a picture of what testing the waters looks like. Sorry, I apologize because of the bit outside where the sun shines. There we go, right here. This, this was a very good poem. I'm going to read it one more time, and then after this, wrap this up. So here we go. <clears throat> because I love it so much, especially the title that goes along with the poem. So yeah. Testing the Waters by Denzel Kloss. We find ourselves tested by the people we hate. Because they want to be entertained by a dividing gate. The odds are always in favor of what comes for us even as we try to be on high alert. Condescending people love rubbing us the wrong way. They love it as if this was their new holiday. A holiday where you make fellows feel like they will never find hope. Remember the days of being sent against the wall? That memory will try to exist with you taking the fall. Whenever a storm starts to rise where the water stands, <clears throat> The high alert comes with a tide, ready to devour the peaceful land. There is a reason we must never quit. I see a valley where liberation is waiting by the shore. We can reach this moment that we always adore. Never having to deal with individuals who test us to the end. Our wounds will heal, even mend. Society. I repeat, society tried to break us by testing our waters, but we did not give up. We fought until the tide had fallen. We felt the relaxed, cool air breeze while liberating together. Our greatest goal was to unite and stay strong, a way of proving those who tested the waters wrong. <clears throat> Never, I repeat, never let anyone test you, especially where the water lies. There you have it, my friends. That was a poem I had written this afternoon and shared on this 220 poem video. And the name of the poem was called, and I repeat that I had read it twice. It was called Testing the Waters. I'm not going to lie. I hope you guys enjoyed this poem, especially on this poem video. See how this was definitely number 20, 220. So, yeah, the last one I did was 219. So, now here we are on 220. So, yes. A new poem was written and read. A new poem was read tonight on this poem video coming from me. It was called Testing the Waters. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I did as ever, especially reading it twice as ever. And if I ever had to ask you this question, it'd be this. Have you ever had your waters tested by those that you never liked? That did anything to make you feel like you will never amount to anything? That ever made you feel like you will never find hope? And that also made you feel like as if you were never loved? You were never... How should I say this? Love or carry, even you ever you never belong where you were. I have seen the I have seen that I've seen those messages many, many times where individuals, especially condescending individuals, love testing the waters right in front of you. Just to watch you fall, crack, even be broken. But I say this, don't let them test you because they're looking for a show to be entertained by. Which is the last thing you want as to happen for them to enjoy. <clears throat> and I, I'm not a fan of testing waters.
Test new waters is when you find yourself, you're about to hit something that's related to that. That's your breaking point. You hit so much that you you want to, how would I say this, clock someone in the face or kick someone in their groin. More than likely, give them an ass kicking they'll never forget. So whatever you do, don't let them test you, especially your waters as ever. Stay where you are. You will find yourself heading somewhere peaceful. Well, love, care, and kindness is always waiting for you on the other side, along with liberation. Knowing that liberation is where you can come to the shore and feel free, liberate, even breathe as ever. So yes, so yes, remember that, my friends. Don't let them test your waters as ever. That's why I wrote this poem this afternoon and read it here this evening on this 220 poem video, Testing the Waters. And I say thank you for your time on this poem video. You're more than welcome to watch this again as I read this twice. So just to keep you calm and relaxed so you know how this goes. Other than that, I say thank you, especially for your time and need. And I'll see you guys next time I make another poem video or art masterpieces video. Other than that, have a good evening. Have a good afternoon. Yeah, we'll see you loves next time.